Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. This week we'll be playing a game that at first glance appears to be a cross between Portal and Preschool Finger Painting. Join me as we play Chroma Gun on this week's Sunday Sampler. Chroma Gun is a game where you use this gun here, named the Chroma Gun, to shoot uh, colors at walls and I think these things called worker droids to make your way through a first person puzzle kind of laboratory. Uh, it looks like a pretty cool game. Uh, full disclosure, I'll let you guys know that I received a free Steam key for this game from Pixel Maniacs, the developer and publisher. I thought it looked pretty cool when I looked it up, and the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Although I will say though, if you look at the reviews on Steam, you'll see that a lot of them were free copies of the game. Um, I'm not going to let that influence how I feel about the game, and I can't speak to those people who left reviews of uh, their free copies either, but always something to keep in mind when you're uh, looking at reviews of a game. But having said that, it does look like a pretty neat game. I, I enjoy puzzle games, and it looks like a pretty creative way to go about playing a puzzle game. So uh, I decided to give it a try here on this week's Sunday Sampler. Now, uh, this game here uh, uses colors as a very important mechanic in the game. Um, and those of you who may be colorblind would probably have a pretty hard time playing the game or, or, or watching me play the game. I'm not colorblind myself, uh, but if you look in here in the settings, you'll see that there is a colorblind setting, uh, which is pretty cool. It's nice that the developers did that. Uh, I believe that if you select colorblind, it will place the symbols on the colors in the game so that even if you're colorblind you can uh, use the symbols to uh, make your way through the game. Um, I'm going to leave this on. Uh, I don't know if any of my viewers are colorblind but uh, I think it'd be nice if just in case some of them are um, this will help uh, you guys uh, enjoy the game. So hopefully it won't be distracting to those of us who are not colorblind. So I'm just going to leave that on and uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's see, I have continue selected here because I did start the game earlier, but I had my controls set up wrong. And I'm hoping that I could just go here and start this and uh, we'll start from the starting. So let's go ahead and click this floor one of eight. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, okay, pretty colors here. Okay, so we're on an elevator. And there's some music playing here that is uh, very reminiscent, I think, of the music that played in Portal. And I hope you've played Portal. Good grief. Fantastic game. Portal 1 and 2, both fantastic. Portal, if you've never played it, it is an experience you will never forget. Uh, so I'm not going to compare this to Portal, but it reminds me of it already. You're here because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up. Who would have given you that idea? Before we start, we need to test your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't see anything that says exit yet. Can we go through here? No, that's not the exit. Can we speak with this, this woman sitting here? Hello? Hi. Could you tell me where the exit is, please? Whoa, I could zoom in. Get to know her a little bit better. Okay. I'm gonna have to guess that the exit's here. Mm, long hallway. So I wonder if that's those are worker droids. Worker droids were mentioned... Uh, Oh, I bet you that these little things floating over top of it are the uh, symbols for colorblind. Uh, so they're looking like they might be a little bit more uh, obtrusive than I thought they were going to be. Um, but I'm going to leave them on anyway. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about that. We'll see how it affects the game. Okay, here's the exit. I don't know why it's an exit. What am I exiting exactly? I guess I'm just exiting the lobby. Can't go back. It's a one-way trip. Worker droids, a friendly reminder, the more vicious a worker droid looks, the more vicious it is. Oh, okay. So this one, it's kind of hard to read there. This one's deactivated, this one is hibernating, and this one is activated. Okay. F. 
All right, why do I feel short all of a sudden? Sensational. Please pick up the semi-automatic nano-acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. Well, it's not right in front of me, but sure, I'll pick it up. This is the Chromagon patent pending that you've heard so much about. <laughs> okay, we're kidding. Of course you haven't heard about it. We here at Chromatech know how to keep secrets, and so should you. Now, paint the worker droid to move it out of the way. Then exit the room using the room exiting technique you've learned in the previous room. Okay, so we're supposed to paint it. I guess we shoot it with our gun. There we go. Huh, right in the head. Uh, so I guess when you paint a worker droid, it goes to that color. I painted it yellow. It went to this yellow uh, wall here. And again, you can see these symbols here letting the colorblind people know that that's yellow. And those colors are, they, they mean something. There's some kind of project where um, it's like kind of like a standard. So again, we're going to shoot this. He goes over to the yellow, okay. Um, so there's no yellow here. The game's not going to tell me anything, but since I've played games like this before, it's not too hard to figure out that you could probably paint these walls, but maybe not these. Right, can't paint these. Can paint these. Look at that. Oh wow, if you paint two of them, he uh, goes in between them. Alright, good to know. And in this room, we've got ourselves another droid here, right? Don't ask me why the gray droid doesn't go to the gray wall, but that's okay. We can figure that out. Uh-huh. Well. Hmm. We could paint all these walls if we want to. Doesn't seem to be any reason to, but we can do it. Um, where'd this guy go? So he, I guess he goes to whatever colors are the closest, so I can't get him to come with me. I was just wondering if I could. I mean, why else would we be able to point, paint this wall here? Let's see if I get an achievement for painting these. Nope, nothing. Just wasted a bunch of paint, really. Oh, look, there's even more here. Can't paint that. Okay. Oh, loading. Surprised that the loading screens, I mean, it wasn't a very big area. Colors. Colors can be mixed on canvas. If you paid attention in preschool, you should get the idea. Oh, uh. Sensational. Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. Right. Uh -huh. So if I shoot that, and I shoot that, he won't go over there, because he doesn't know about that. So I guess I have to do this, and now he'll go over there. I don't know. Oh, okay, he just goes between them. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Interesting. Okay. That is good to know. So we got another dude here that we need to deal with. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I could shoot. Maybe I could shoot through him. Send him on his way over there. All right. But now he's in my way, so let's just get him to move over there. He's halfway between them, but that gives me enough room to get through, so that's cool. Fire extinguisher there. So when do I get more colors to play with? That's what I want to know. Color attraction worker droids are attracted to all nearby walls of the same color and can be suspended mid-air. However, that's not very nice towards worker droids. Okay, I didn't know they had feelings. The, the Chroma Gun Fires is a specially developed blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes, and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. <laughs> that being said, please do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint. Hmm, how's this one painted? Okay, guess that one was pre-painted. Again, we've got all these walls here that we can paint just for the heck of it. But it uh, doesn't really seem to mean anything to us. So we got this guy here. Paint him yellow. He's going to go over to that 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Well, so much for uh, splitting the distance. Alright. Another load screen here. Here we've got triggers. Triggers open the doors they are connected to. One trigger may open multiple doors, and one door may be opened only when multiple triggers are activated. Axiomatically, no triggers open no doors. Okay. So I guess these are triggers? Oh my. Let's paint him yellow, and uh, we'll send him right there. Uh, or not. Maybe we'll send him here. Okay, so now he's gonna go between those two. Maybe these aren't triggers. So we got a bunch of these dudes in the way here. We need to figure out how to get past them. Um, let's see, what happens if I turn him yellow? He's not gonna do anything. Hmm, so I don't know how to get him to move out of the way. I have to do something like this. Oh my. Oh, okay. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Can I get past this guy? I can. Good. Okay, once again, we need to get him out of the way. Okay, I kind of get it. We can move on to something else now. Uh, colors. Yes, yes, yes. Please find and subsequently step into the trigger. Okay. Sensational. Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Uh-huh. Well, unfortunately, I have to leave it in order to um, get out of the room. So we're going to shoot him, turn him yellow. He will go over top of the trigger and thus open the door. Sensational. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droids. That makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects and 97% of test monkeys. I'm so proud. All right. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Trigger. Uh, let's see. We have one trigger that opens this door only. And then we have that trigger in there that's going to open this door. Okay. So let's paint this guy yellow. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. So he's opened this door. Now we'll go around this way. Haha, <laughs> now we're in this room. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. What does this one say? Color attraction. Okay, we already saw that one. The attraction that Chroma Gun's paint generates is based on a very complex set of mathematical vector operations. So instead of not understanding me explaining it to you, try it out now. What? I wasn't paying attention. Try what out? So I know that I could open this door here, but I can't see through it. And then using this. I'll be able to open that door. I guess that's really only our our only option right now. So let's go ahead, go through here. We got this guy in here. Oh, this poor sad little guy in this room all by himself. I'm gonna paint him yellow, and we're gonna send him out here. Okay, very simple, very easy. The more walls we could paint if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna bother. Okay, okay, so now we have to somehow figure out how to get him in the middle of this room. And I'm gonna do that. That way, that'll work. Okay, we've already seen that one. It is worth noting that unlike the ones you've encountered in the previous rooms, the worker droids in this next room are not deactivated, but hibernating. Much like you and me, they do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellets. Please do not disturb them, because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact, due to miscommunication and engineering, 
they will. Okay. Well, they're already yellow, so I shouldn't have to shoot them. Just have to make sure that I don't accidentally shoot them. Am I not supposed to do anything here? These are just for looks. I can shoot through here. Oh, what about these ones on the ground? Oh, I can't shoot through there. I thought that was open. Okay, I can't shoot through. All right. Let's see what's in the next room. So we got a dude here. So he's hibernating. I can, I can run into him. He doesn't care about that. Problem is, I'm going to have to shoot him. Chromatech. In order to get him to move. But do I want him to move? Yes, I do. I want him to move because I want him to go here. But how do I get him over here? Oh, he's going to chase me. That's how I get him over there. So is he more attracted to the wall than he is to me? Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's see what happens. So he's angry. He's coming at me. And... There he goes. Okay, so luckily he's more attracted to the wall than he is to me. Alright, we, un we unlocked an achievement. Welcome to Chromatech. The Chroma Guns paint can be mixed on canvas. If you remember your time in kindergarten, that part should be easy. If you don't remember or you never actually went to kindergarten, you may attend the Chromatech seminar on subtractive color mixing for preschoolers at the end of the test. So this is actually kind of cool here. It's a pretty good example of how the uh, symbols work for the colorblind. Uh, red is a circle and yellow is a line. Orange, which is red and yellow mixed, is a circle with a line through it. So that's kind of cool. Um, however, uh, I, so if I shoot him with yellow, that means he will turn orange instead of yellow. So like if he's already a color and I shoot him, yes, it'll blend. Okay. Oh, that door's kind of broken over there. Huh? So blue is a, is a horizontal line, yellow vertical line so a horizontal line with a vertical line makes green which is blue and yellow i hope you know this purple is red a circle with blue a line so there's our purple we already talked about orange brown is all colors uh yellow um blue and red all mixed together so, I don't know why he's floating here. Doesn't it seem like he should be in front of this wall since that's the brown wall. So this is very, very much like the original. Well, I guess maybe the second portal, was it? I'm not sure if I remember if the first portal, the place was falling apart, but the second portal it was. So this guy here, I can turn orange and it will open this door. Oh no, it won't. Oh, we need both of these. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So let's turn him orange. He's gonna go over there. Uh, this guy we want to be green. So we'll have him go over there. And this guy, doesn't really matter what color he is, but we need to get him away from this wall here. We want him to go here. So we're gonna make this wall brown. Okay, see what I did there? I added yellow to that and it turned it brown. This guy over here is just here for looks, I guess. Once he's brown, you can't do anything else with him. Yeah, you can't do anything once he's brown. Okay, so we got this guy on the ground here. Got this dude here. Um, really, this is it? Okay. He goes there. 100 shots, all right? I've already taken 100 shots. Here. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay, being a little more thorough than you need to be, I feel like. <laughs> um, again, here, he's splitting the distance between these two greens. I want him to go there, so I'm gonna make that a different color. So he'll go on that green. Here, again, the same thing. I want him to go there. I'm not sure why this brown one is here. You know, the brown one's gonna be a problem, because as soon as I shoot this, it's gonna turn brown, and he's gonna go over here. 
he's gonna go here. So I, I want to make sure I'm on this side when I do this. Oh no, he doesn't care. Alright, so I'm not real sure how these guys work. I'm not, I don't know why he's there. I don't know what the purpose of the brown is. Maybe it's to show me that the brown ones aren't attracted to colors, maybe? I don't know. Oh, what's this all about? What's this on my screen here? One, two, and three. So is this telling me that I get to... To continue the test, yeah. please acquire the upgraded tricolored chroma gun. As without it, you would not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. <laughs> okay, we picked it up. So, we can shoot yellow. If I hit two, I could shoot red. If I hit button number three, I could shoot blue. And then again, we can mix colors. We could mix yellow with red and get orange. Achieve an unlocked preschooler. We could sh mix red and blue and get purple. And we could mix blue and yellow to get green. Then of course, we could mix all three colors to get brown. Those are That's our color palette right there. That's it. No other colors we could make, I don't think. Okay, so now things maybe get a, maybe will get a little bit more difficult. We got brown here, we got yellow there, so we could easily make him yellow and have him go to that wall. Oh, we have to do three things to open this door, so that one's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do it. Shoot him with uh, yellow. So he goes there. Okay. Here, we want. Uh, this guy to be red. Red he is. And this guy we want to be blue. Blue he is. All three triggers are pressed and we can go through this door. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. There's no trigger here. So uh, I guess we're going to want to go into this room. Let's go ahead and make him orange, right? So that he'll go in this corner and trigger this, which will allow me to get into this room. And then uh, we can do something with him once we're in there. So we're going to make him orange, shoot him once with uh, yellow and then with red. There he goes. Okay. This room. We want him on this trigger, so we want, we can't change him to a different color. If we shoot him, he's going to turn brown. We don't want that. So we want these walls to be purple. So, or actually I don't even need to do that. I could just make this one wall purple. So two and three and it's purple. There he goes. Okay. Oh, that opens this door as well. Now we can go in here. And we want to make him blue, or no, not blue. We want to make him, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's make him green. That way he'll hover between the two green walls, right? So we're gonna shoot him with a blue, and then we're gonna shoot him with a yellow. There you go, okay. All right, so getting a little trickier. This is cool. Um, what do we want to do? We have three dudes and three triggers. We want one guy to go here. So if we paint him orange, he should go there. If we paint him purple, he should go there. And if we paint that wall green, he'll go there. Okay, so we want him to be orange. Oh. He's coming after me, so I kind of have to lead him over here. Okay. All right, that worked out well. This guy, we want to be purple, so I'm going to shoot him with red and then shoot him with blue. He goes there, and then I want to make this wall green. And the wall is green. So we've just got some gray dudes floating around in here and a blue dude here. Hmm. All right, well, are these guys here just for looks? I mean, I guess they are. 
Why are they here? Hmm. They're there just here to drive me crazy, I think. To make me wonder if I'm supposed to do something with them. Because I don't need to do anything with them to get through this door. So I'm not going to mess with them. Who knows, maybe it's a secret or something. I don't think I've seen this one. Deadly Electrified Maintenance Tiles. The name Deadly Electrified Maintenance Tile does not contain the word deadly by accident. That's pretty funny. Hello, how are you? Okay. Got a door here that I don't see a trigger for. Another door here that I don't see a trigger for. And another one here that I don't see a trigger for, but I do see one here. Uh, let's go ahead and paint this uh, red. It's too far away for him. So let's go ahead and... Ah. Oh. Aha. Look at that. I could, I could leave him red. Pull him over here. There you go. Now when the lines shows up, he's attracted. I can move out of the way safely. These guys are aggroed to begin with, it would seem. Look at that. They will not go through here. These are the deadly maintenance tiles, I guess, so I can't walk through these. So I've got, I've got green, purple, blue, and orange. Doesn't matter. Can I shoot through here? That's the question. Let's, uh, well, I don't have a red one, so let's not do red. Blue. I can shoot through. Okay, there's blue. Um, I want one of these to be purple. So let's do that. Okay. I want a green one and an orange one, so... I want... There's orange. And green. And... This door is open now. Can't go through that one. Go through here. Bunch of brown ones. Now these... Hmm. Kind of neat how I could see out here. Like, I, maybe I'm seeing outside. So we got a door here. Oh, I'm not seeing any triggers in this room. Oh, there is a trigger in this room. Um... Did I hear a door open? Huh. I wonder if I need to pull him into this room. Because I don't think that I could get these brown guys to move. Oh, oh crap, I can't. Okay, it's brown. Will he go there? Come on, brownie. Okay, the brown ones are not attracted to the walls and so I think I just screwed up because I don't know if I can reset that wall you know how can I reset it so that it's not brown I don't think I can I think I'm screwed yeah I think I am uh, hmm hmm interesting um so do I need to restart this level or what? Boy, he's coming at me, isn't he? Will he come out here? Oh no, he's just gonna hover there in the way. Well, I might as well go ahead and die. Right? Because <laughs> achievement unlocked. In no light hugging. of your recent blunders, <laughs> and they are many, we feel we are obliged to inform you that Kung Fu has been proven to be futile against worker droids. I can jump, but I don't know what jumping is for. Achievement unlocked ineffective. So here's another one I haven't seen yet. Color defiant particle meshes. Only paint pellets travel through particle meshes. The attraction the chroma gun's paint generates is blocked by them. Just like worker droids, people, the chroma gun itself, and teeth. What? Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure what that means. So we need to come in here and do this again. Because I screwed up. So we're gonna paint this red. We're gonna aggro him. Oh yeah, shoot him, aggro him, bring him over here. And we're safe. Okay. Now I guess I need to go back in here and do this again. So make a blue one. Make a purple one. Make an orange one. And make a green one. OK. 
Okay, I'll open this door. Now, I don't know why this door opens, but it's nice that it does. So I guess if there's a green light over it, it means the door will open. These doors have red lights over them. Okay, so I think I want this to be red. Because you can't get the brown ones to attract to the wall. I found out the hard way. So we'll paint that red. And now I'm going to make this wall a different color. And then uh, aggro him. So he's going to follow me into this room. But when he gets close to this, there he goes. Now he's going to stand on that. Okay. Is this one still red over here? Well, this one doesn't even have a light over top of it. Hmm, okay. So I've got a false door, maybe. All right. So, we need to trigger all of these. Yes, sir, we do. We have to be careful. We have to do this right. Because I don't want to start over. I'm not real sure what happens if I screw up what I do about it. So, I can paint him green to go against that right there. I can make him purple. I could easily make him yellow, and I could easily make him orange. Uh, I need to be careful, though. Right? Eh, maybe not. Let's see. I don't think that those guys can pass through that field. So, he's good. Hit him with a red. He'll turn orange. Hit him with a yellow, he'll turn green. And hit him with a blue, and he'll turn purple. Okay. I thought that was going to be tricky. It really wasn't. What's this? Okay, a door that'll get us through this force field here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now is when it gets tricky. Hmm. I need... Well... Okay, no, this isn't a problem, I don't think. The problem is, is that I can't paint that wall right there. So what I need to do is paint both of these red so he'll straddle them and trigger this, this door. So red and red, he straddles. We go through here. Now, I just want him on this one closer to me. So I'm going to paint that one orange and move him over to this one, okay? And that door is opened, but there's a trigger here. So I need to bring somebody in here so that I can trigger this. So it's bringing me all the way back out here. Um, I can bring him over here. If I paint this wall red. Okay. So I'm going to go aggro this guy by painting his wall a different color. He's no longer attracted to that, but he is attracted to me. And who can blame him? Come on, little guy. So we bring him in here until he's attracted to that. Oh, he's gone between both of them. I did not see this red wall over here. So we will paint this one orange. And he will go over there now, okay? All right, so we made it through that. That was pretty cool. So we got a yellow guy here. Oh, that's interesting. What's that all about? What are these? Hmm. I wonder if he could be attracted to the wrong side. So I need somebody here. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Where do we go first? <laughs> okay, so at first glance, this appears to be a tricky puzzle. So if I, uh, I don't think that there's any way I could get him here, right? I don't think so. Where can I get him to go? Can I get him to go here? Yeah, I should be able to get him to go here open up this so I could bring him out and do something with him. So let's go ahead and aggro this guy. Oh, these aren't the aggro types. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Hmm. I, 
I mean, I could shoot these and I could put him in this corner, but I don't see any reason to do that at all. Hmm. Um. I can't do anything from here. And I certainly can't do anything from here. And I don't think there's anything I could do from here. I can't even see into that room. So, um... Huh. <laughs> okay, game. Um, wow. Huh. How do I get this guy to move? Wow. I mean, I think I want him here. Yes. Yeah, still don't know what jumping is for. I can jump, but I, I don't jump very high at all. But I don't know what jumping is for. Um, hmm. Is it line? No, it's not line of sight, I was going to say. If it was... No, he can't actually see that one, can he? What can he see? I can't push him around. Hmm. Interesting. That's green. This is green. Um, I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Like, I could move him there, but I don't really know why I would want to do that. That's not going to help me at all. Matter of fact, it seems like it would hurt me more than it would help me if I put him there. Um... See, there he goes. Oh! Oh! What the... Okay, was not expecting that to happen at all, but... Fortunately for us, it did happen. Now, I have to be careful here, I feel like. What color do I make this wall? I want to make it a different color so that he's no longer attracted to it. But I don't want to screw up and make it a color that's not going to help me for the next puzzle. So the next guy that comes out is going to be orange. I'm going to want the orange guy to go here. So I think I'm going to want to paint this orange. Okay, so he is in here. We need to get him to come out. We can do that by turning this wall orange. Now he's halfway between. I need to get him out here. Um, what if I make this orange? Okay, he comes out. This guy, oddly enough, stays here. I guess because he doesn't really have anywhere else to go. I need him to go here. Okay, that did not work at all. See, this is where I'm afraid that I've screwed up. Now it's brown. And now he's just kind of hovering here. Because I have screwed up. And why wouldn't he hover here? Yeah, he has... Okay... Well, not what I was planning on, but alright. All right, that kind of works. We're gonna do this with him. Whoops, I wanna be out here though, I think. Oh, he's an aggro dude. He's somebody I could pull along with me. So I'm gonna want him to end up there. Uh, I think I screwed up. Because now I can't get him out of this room. Yeah. And I don't have any way to shoot these things from where I'm standing now, so... I think that was a mistake. I think I was a little too hasty... ...in doing that. Um, I, you know, I can make him a different color, though, right? So let's try... ...to make this purple. And let's color him purple. Okay, so he's coming after me. There he goes. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Now we come in here. And that was that room. That was kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. Hmm. 
Okay, we got this guy floating in here. Hmm, all right, this door is open. So we got a green dude here. He's docile, so he's not gonna follow me. I want him to go here. So how far will he travel? He will travel that far. Will he go there? Okay, there he goes. Okay, that was pretty easy. Not too much of a problem. Here's a yellow dude. That, boy, do I need to pull him all the way over here? I do. Let's get out our yellow gun. So how far will he travel? Will he go here? He will. Okay. Will he go here? No. What about here? No. Here? There he goes. So, let's keep him moving along. Okay, he's going halfway there. We're kind of pulling him in this direction. Okay, this is good. Okay, not too much trouble. Now we want to get him here. So we kind of need to pull him over here. So I'm going to make this one red. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do something like this. Okay. And then I'm going to... Oh, it opened it. Okay, that was good enough. All right. Kind of dirty, but that'll work. <laughs> I guess we're seeing outside, I guess. I don't know. We got an orange one here that we need to get here. We also have a green one over here. Ooh. We need to get somebody here. So, whoa. Okay, so both of these triggers need to be triggered so that we can open this door. All right, so one dude here. Um, let's see, I could get him there. I might be able to get him through. Let's see. Okay, there he goes. Oh crap, did I just screw myself? Nah, I'll be all right. Make that yellow or orange. Okay, so that's good. I'm surprised he wasn't attracted to these walls anymore, but hey, whatever works. Now I need to get green down here. So let's go ahead and paint this wall green. And um, just do the same thing with these two walls. There he goes. Okay, all right. So I wanna see, I don't think we've seen the deadly electrified tiles yet. Don't think we've seen any of those yet. There's another broken door. These are not the deadly things. These are just force fields. So kind of want to see the deadly things. Is the camera following me or is it just panning back and forth? Uh, I think it's following me, right? Oh, it's interesting, so it's red, I guess, when it sees me. Just a nice little touch. Okay, so this guy could be any color. We want a green one here, purple one there, and orange one there. We have a blue one. We'll have access to a red one. So blue we can make green. And red we can make orange pretty easily. And this guy we can make purple pretty easily. So let's go ahead and make him purple. Oh, geez. <laughs> that was close. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make him green. And we'll just aggro him so that he comes right over here. So that was pretty easy. And uh, I'm a doofus because I did not see this right here. So I think I screwed up. Um, well, actually, well, yeah, I did. I screwed up. I need to start this level over again, I believe, because the only, I can't make these guys a different color They'll, or they'll turn brown. I, you know, I can't make him orange. I can't make him orange. Although, well, no, 
No, I don't think this will work. I was going to say I could make this wall... Maybe make this wall green. Let's see if this works. Okay, good. Will he follow me? No. No, he's going to stay there and I can't paint that wall a different color. Yeah, I need to restart this level. I thought there was a button that would allow me to restart a level. Restart. Hold Z. Oh, that's what I did, but it didn't seem to do anything. Okay. So luckily we had just... I think, just started this level. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and just make him yellow right off. Whoa. And have him go over there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this guy here, let's make him orange. He's going to come out here and be all angry, but... Oh, nope, there's orange over there. Okay. Well, that's good. We could do green on him. Pull him over here. And now we'll go ahead and make him, shoot, doggone it. Of all the colors, why did I make him, <laughs> why did I make him yellow? Cause now I can't make him purple. I can't make him purple. All right, so I screwed this one up. Shouldn't have made him, shouldn't have made him yellow. I should have made him maybe blue. I can do blue, 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 okay. And then, now that that's open, we can make him orange. Come on out. Go over there. Make him green. Pull him out over there. And now I can make him purple. There we go. All right. Yeah, it took me a few tries. Still don't know those deadly things. Was that just a joke? Are there really deadly things? Or not? Look at that room. Well, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I think we've gotten a pretty good idea about the game. It's pretty fun. Uh, I know that there are also like speed runs you could do with this game. I don't know if it's speed runs of each of these levels or uh, speed runs of the whole game, but um, I can see that being pretty cool and add an extra challenge to the game. But uh, I'm gonna stop here. I have a feeling this has been enough to get an idea of what the game is. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I could see myself playing this more to figure out these puzzles. Uh, I don't know how interesting this is as a let's play though. Um, I have a feeling it's probably not too terribly fun watching me solve these puzzles. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to thank you guys for joining me on this week's Sunday Sampler. Let me know what you thought about this, this game, this playthrough. Uh, always love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, won't you let me know? Leave me a like. Leave me leave me a comment. If you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in another one of my let's plays soon.